What's up guys, it's Sunday morning and I'm on my way to Starbucks so I can work on the startup me and my brother are building. I'm building the MVP right now and I'm gonna take you guys along, show you some of the steps that I'm going through. So I don't wanna make this like a day in the life cause I'm gonna do that separately. I'm about to brush my teeth and get ready. So just imagine me doing that. Hoodie, check. Apple watch, check. Pants, I'll be right back. Normally I just wear a hoodie and joggers to Starbucks, but today I'm wearing jeans and Yeezys because somebody very special might be at Starbucks today. <laughs> I mean you guys when I say that. Most people think when you're programming, it's just endless typing and math, but that's really not the case. The majority of the programming process is actually just a lot of reading and learning. Y'all like my new car? Nah, I'm just kidding. This is a rental, actually. So today, as much as I want to get some code written, it might actually just be a day where I'm reading and trying to figure out what tech I'm going to use. thing about having a startup, there's nobody pushing you to do anything. And everything starts and ends with you. There's nobody that's gonna tell you, hey, you didn't meet that deadline. But that's like a gift and a curse. But you know what else is a gift and a curse? Learning the code. <laughs> it's I mean it's crazy the amount of joy and pain that you can get from this little machine that is basically taking instructions from you and it does exactly what you tell it to do um, so it's not really fun to start your day off with an error but let me tell you guys what's going on here so basically I'm trying to navigate through this object that I'm pulling from a third party API. And as you can see here, I'm about to be met with another error. But luckily I knew exactly how to fix both of these. For example, this network error is really just because I haven't started my server, which it was early in the morning, so I was a bit rusty. <laughs> but I've got the server running and now I'm gonna rerun the query and as you can see, I'm met with the data that I have been looking for, which is a list of restaurants in Austin that serve pizza. I think I just heard him call my name, so I'm going to get my coffee and my breakfast. Coffee kind of just soothes me a little bit, so it's always a must for me. And I'm trying these egg bites, which are five out of five stars, highly recommend. And this is my friend Salman, he's a med student and he's pretty big on TikTok, so I'll leave his info in the description. But he and I both come to this Starbucks all the time, so we just sort of became friends over time. Okay, now that I got my breakfast and some tips about content creation from Salman, let's get to work. So what I'm doing now is still trying to navigate this object. It's pretty complex, so it's taken a little bit of testing for me to find the right path to the URL that I'm looking for. And I'm using a ternary operator, which allows me to basically check if I'm getting the data or not. And as you can see here, I'm just referencing some documentation on, on React Native. Contrary to popular belief, all developers don't just know everything in our heads. We still have to use Google to search a lot of things up to see how some things work. So after removing the third layer of the app, I can finally visualize some of the data that I've been trying to retrieve. And I can 
grab the image that I've been looking for. And I know that that's ugly, but that's actually a pretty big milestone. And I guess that's the beauty of code is the incremental progression, which actually imitates life. We as humans can't really get better at something miraculously, only step by step, piece by piece. And if you learn to love that, you can really learn to love anything. Well guys, I spent about three and a half hours in Starbucks working on the app today. Uh, I did mostly front end stuff though, so it wasn't as much learning as I thought, but I did have to reference a little bit of documentation. I think I'm pretty much done for the day. There's an NFL playoff game today. Well, actually two, I'm about to go watch that. I'm rooting for the Eagles and the Chiefs. So I'll catch you guys next time.